For today's project, we'll be making these flush mounted wall shelves on Welcome to Southern Custom Cuts. My daughter has a good size collection of snow globes that have slowly taken over her dresser. So my wife has asked that I build her some shelves that she can now put these snow globes on in her room. I'm starting this project with some one x six dimensional lumber that I picked up at my local home store. I chose one x six because they needed about six inches of width based on the sizes of the snow globes. Most of the globes measured about four inches in diameter. This is a relatively simple project that can be accomplished in about a day or two depending on drawing time. As you can see here, I'm going to laminate the two pieces together so that I have a thicker piece of stock to build the shelf base. I started using pin nails to hold it together, but quickly realized that my wood had a slight cup to it and the pin nails weren't going to have the pressure I needed to create a strong lamination. So I switched to clamps. While the glue was drying, I moved to the support legs. I played around with a couple of different designs, but decided to go with something simple for this project. I cut a couple of pieces at a 45 degree angle and made the overall length just short of the base. I wanted to have a slight overhang on each of the shelves. After the glue dried, I flush trimmed the edges with my table saw. Then I moved my fence in about an eighth of an inch towards the blade and repeated the cut on the other side. I guess I scowl when I'm concentrating really hard. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, welcome! Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and bell icon to stay up to date on all of my projects. I wanted to soften the edges a bit, so I used a quarter inch round over bit in my palm router. I only rounded over the front three sides so that the back would sit flush against the wall. Next, I hit it with 150 grit sandpaper on my ROS to smooth it out. I noticed that there were a few gaps and dings that I wasn't crazy about. I used a little bit of glue and fine sawdust to create a filler paste. I found that the fine sawdust works much better than the table saw shavings. I applied the filler with the flat edge of my glue brush so that it would reduce any extra sanding cleanup later. While that dries, I used my Craig pocket hole jig on the support legs. I placed my pocket holes on the inside of the support leg so that it wouldn't be visible from the outside once the piece is mounted to the wall. Be careful that your support leg is oriented appropriately before drilling your pocket holes. Now that the filler was dry, it was time to sand with a little bit 150 grit, then 220. 
Does anyone else have their child's artwork on their workbench? If so, leave me a comment below and tell me about your art. I grabbed a scrap piece of oak to use as a spacer for placing the support legs. Liking the dry fit placement, I used a one and a quarter inch pocket hole screw and glue to attach the support legs. I grabbed a couple of pocket hole plugs and filed them down to size using my oscillating sander. It should just make quick work of grinding down the ends of plugs and it creates a solid fit. Well, most of the time. Now let the glue dry, then sand the plugs flush with the support leg. Next, I mark out where I want the keyhole slots to be placed. I decided about an inch from each side, then made a three quarter inch slot. I slowly lowered my palm router onto the mark and pull the palm router towards me. Then rinse and repeat on the other side. Now all of the furniture in my daughter's room is dark, so I went with an espresso finish. I applied it generously, then let it set for a minute or so before wiping off the excess. And then I applied two coats of semi-gloss polyurethane and sanded with 400 grit between coats. Ultimately, I made a couple of these shelves for my daughter and I think they turned out great and blended well with the rest of her furniture. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time on Southern Custom Cuts.